there. I'm Barbara Buckshaw, Executive Director for the NASPP. Welcome to my video series, Stuff I Learned at the NASPP Conference. For today's video, I'm going to be covering the payroll tax holiday. Everything I know about the payroll tax holiday, I learned at the session, the IRS and Treasury speak. This topic was presented by Deb Walker of Cherry Beckert. Thanks, Deb, for the helpful information. So you might be wondering, how is it that you can't go to a conference in person, but somehow your payroll taxes can go on holiday? The reason why your payroll taxes can go on holiday is because President Trump issued an executive order directing Treasury to issue rules that would allow companies to defer collecting Social Security from September 1st until December 31st. Now, this only applies to the employee portion of Social Security. Companies still need to pay their portion. It also only applies to employees who earn biweekly wages of less than $4,000. Employees who earn more than that still have to pay Social Security. Uh, this test is performed on a pay period by pay period basis. So you might have an employee who normally earns less than $4,000 per pay period, but maybe there's one period where they have an RSU vesting event, and for that period, they're over $4,000. For that one period, you still have to collect Social Security, but for the rest of the time from September 1st until December 31st, you would not need to collect Social Security from that employee's wages. One very important thing that I learned at the session is that this is not a mandate. You do not have to do it. You can just continue withholding Social Security just like you normally would. Another important thing that I learned is that this is not a get out of tax free card. Uh, employees still have to pay all the Social Security tax that they would have paid from September to December. It's just that they don't have to pay it until next year. You need to begin collecting it on January 1st and you have until April 30th to finish collecting it. You should collect it rapidly over that four month time period. If you haven't collected it all by May 1st, penalties and interest will begin to accrue. Uh, and that's why companies might want to just continue collecting Social Security rather than letting their payroll taxes go on holiday because they might not want to create that debt for their employees and they might not want to create the obligation on their part to have to collect that debt. Uh, you have to collect the Social Security for all of your employees, even those who have left the company. Now, there has been some talk of legislation that would forgive that debt so employees wouldn't have to pay the Social Security taxes back. That is something that President Trump has directed Treasury to look into, but that legislation would have to be enacted by Congress, and there's no guarantee that that is going to happen. So you should make decisions under the assumption that employees are going to have to pay these taxes back. You probably have lots of questions and handily, I have two great sessions that you can listen to at the conference that cover this topic. The first is the IRS and Treasury speak and the second is election year 2020 big four views from inside the loop. Be sure to check them out and enjoy the rest of the conference.